channel. Uh, today we're in the garage. We're going to start a little build, build series on the Dyna. Um, I took a trip a couple months ago uh, up to the mountains in uh, Tennessee here for the V Twin Visionary Tour. And there were some things on the Dyna that just kind of annoyed me. So uh, we're going to try to fix those um, in this little build series. It's probably going to be about two or three videos um, and, and kind of explain why I'm doing stuff and you know go from there. But um, today this is going to be the first start of that and we have a Thunder Max tuner um, and this is actually a complete standalone computer uh, that replaces your factory ECM and this thing is totally programmable with uh, ignition and timing and, and fuel uh, startup you can adjust for things like chain conversion which this has which I want to fix because uh, the speedometer is off a little bit, um, you know, some cold start, some hard start uh, features in it as well. But yeah, this this comes with uh, new AF sensors. Um, I believe they're wideband sensors, so they have a higher range of adjustment. And from what I can see, that that this guy will get you. Will you know? You you install it with a base map. Uh, go ride the bike, and and the bike actually learns. Um, how your particular motorcycle uh, needs as far as fuel and timing and you go in and actually save that or write that data after you ride it a little bit and then it's tailor-made to your motorcycle and with this tuner um, if I ever decide to do any sort of upgrades in the future I can never outgrow this thing um, it can adjust for anything crazy that I want to do so um, yeah, yeah, I'm really excited. I, I, I'm not sponsored by Thunder Max or anything. They did not give this to me. Um, I actually found a really great deal through Fuel Moto on Black Friday, discounted. I was about $300 off, so I said, man, I'd be stupid not to jump on this thing. So, um, yeah, I'm a real, really excited to get it in um, because the tuner I have on there right now is, uh, I believe it's Fanson Hines' first um, tuner that they ever made it's like a clear top deal um, you know with turn dials and yeah it's 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 garbage so um, first thing we need to do is get the bike apart um, so what I need to do is pull the old uh, oxygen sensors out of the pipe and pull the battery out and pull the old ECM out and then uh, we'll check back with you after that and kind of see where we're see where we're going so roll the time lapse
All right, guys. So got everything apart um, on the bike. Uh, everything came apart nice and easy. I was worried about the oxygen sensors, but um, I took this side completely out because uh, the, the way that other tuner was, it's it uses a um, jumper harness. So it's like a piggyback deal. And I just wanted more room to you know lay out this oxygen sensor in the back and uh you know make sure i had enough room to tidy everything up so um i guess what we'll start on next thunder max recommends that uh you download the software to your pc which i've already done first um but yeah we'll get the oxygen sensors put in um I, since that was my last step uh, removing I think that's what I'm gonna do first is put these oxygen sensors in and then uh, with this ECM I'll have to to flash it um, with this plug out so I may have to leave everything out on the bike um, which isn't that bad but you know we'll just see once I get it in there if I have to remove it or not um, to flash it but uh, they do include a little jumper harness to wire in, but I'm not going to worry about that right now. It, it literally takes, you know, 30 minutes or so to get where I am. So let's get these oxygen sensors put in and we'll go from there. installed um this front sensor according to the instructions they want you to run up the down tube and then on the backbone of the frame and that was the cleanest route um i've seen some people doing it down here but i didn't want that chain to get in the way so there's enough room for uh to hide up all that so you don't even see it it looks factory um but yeah got everything installed uh batteries installed and i just kind of left the covers and i had to leave the thunder max out on the other side because the little data port um cable is on the bottom of here i really wish it was on the top i could have got to it easier um and there may be a way i can mess with that later to flip it around and because uh if i ever make any changes to this thing i'm gonna have to pull this box out which isn't a big deal but 
it's kind of a pain. Um, there is another connector uh, that you wire into this to the factory harness there and and that will give you um, a spot to plug in without the need for that so I may do that as well but I'm not rushing but I'm trying to get it done for this weekend so I can get some riding on it hopefully um, but we are all set and the next step is to pull up the Thunder Max app on the computer uh, let's wait for that to load and you know we got to get the VIN number set up on everything and go from there and get this base map loaded up so yeah that's what it looks like when you first pull it up it's it's still loading but let's see if we got connection key switch is in run That's a good sign. Key on detected. I don't know if you guys can see that. This is initializing Thunder Max USB driver. All right. So we got uh, this little green, green linked up there. It means it's, it's linked to the module and module auto tune is on uh, the next little thing here is the vehicle identification number is not valid please enter valid vin number okay i'll be hang on one second let me put all this in uh don't really want to put my vin number here on youtube hang on one second we'll get back right right to you all right got it all registered and the next step is is to load a base map in here um and all you have to do is is go through and and pick out one of these base maps and as you ride the bike um it it actually keeps a a record um of the af sensors and the adjustments it has to make and you know once you've got enough data in the in the ecm here you actually load that into uh, the module again and you have a totally custom tune for your motorcycle. Um, so what we'll do is we'll go through here and uh, pick us out a, a base map and get it loaded um, up here. It's all in Thunder Max. They have great color um, instructions with, with everything you need to know. So I'm gonna run through here and get this base map loaded and hopefully it starts. <laughs> All right, guys, so the next step we got to do is initialize this module. And basically what it says is key it on for 20 seconds, key it off for 20 seconds, key it on for 20 seconds, three times, turn ignition on, let engine run, let it idle for 15 seconds, and then cycle ignition off and restart. So... We're going to go through that process here. Hang on one second. <laughs> so 
So that's it guys, she runs and starts. Um, all I gotta do is go put some miles on it now to uh, get that tune saved up and we'll go in there and readjust it so it can fine tune to, to this motorcycle. But um, so far so good. It uh, seems like it's got really good throttle response. It seems like it started up quicker. Um, all that good stuff. We'll see how the hot start issue uh, happens when I get going and get this thing down the road. I can't wait, man. I'm super excited. I've uh, been wanting one of these Thunder Maxes for a long time to mess around with and play around with and finally got one installed on the dyno. So appreciate the support, guys. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. Take it easy.